Well, hey there, friendships. Welcome back to Curtis's Corner. If you're new here, hi, I'm Curtis. This is my corner. On today's makeup corner, we are going to do some skincare. Now I have put up a little poll on Snapchat, on Instagram, and I got some people who wanted to know what I'm using. So this video is basically going to be me showing you my skincare routine, what I'm using for my dry, dry ass skin and um, showing you some other things that I have used that personally didn't work for me, but could possibly be better in your budget price range. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing any new skincare products you never thought about, then keep on watching. So before we jump into things, be sure to like this video, hit subscribe, it helps me a lot. It lets me know that you're seeing my videos as well when you're liking and subscribing. Hit the notification bell, so that way I know that you are going to be getting the notifications when I post a video, so you keep coming back. Also, there's a link in the description box. Click on that, it goes right to my Patreon. Over there, you get to see unedited videos, so everything that I'm you're seeing here, just without all the edits, all the mistakes, all the random screaming and talking and whatnots to myself. Uh, you get to see that, all the behind the scenes, the what makes the movie magic, as you will. And um, you also get early access. So you get to see all my videos a day early. Now, I made it super cheap, as cheap as I could possibly make it. Again, it helps me, so help me help you. You also get creative control. Who doesn't want to control my channel? I know you do, so click the link, subscribe. Let's jump into the skincare routine. Hello, I'm here to do some skincare with you in case you wanted to check out some products or whatnot. If you're not sure if they're right for you, take it from me. Not that I'm a skincare expert or anything, but this is just what I've been recently doing for prepping my skin. And so far it seems to be working. It is correcting all the dry spots that I have had and I am happy. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're gonna cleanse our skin. So with your cleansers, there are many different kinds that will suit your skin's needs over others. This one is Cetaphil. It is dermatologist tested. They do recommend it. It's for all skin types is a mild, soap free type formula it's very gentle on the skin it has hydrating glycerin vitamin b3 and pro vitamin b5 as well in it this is good if you have sensitive skin otherwise another one that i have used it's a bit cheaper this is a duo where you get a gel cleanser that was lemon scented this is from clean and clear along with a lemon zesty scrub it has just exfoliant scrub beads inside of that which will really remove dirt and unclog the pores, all that. So if you like a fresh lemon smell, this one is also for you. Then we have this e.l.f. Super Clarify Cleanser with clarifying niacinamide. This is very gentle on the skin as well. It's more of a gel-like substance, very light on the skin. But my favorite that you will see me use in the video is the e.l.f. Mint Melt Minty Fresh Cooling Cleanser. This is a foaming cleanser. I absolutely love a foaming cleanser because you feel the bubbles popping and cleaning your skin and I, that's what I absolutely love with this type of a cleanser. What I like to go in with is, I like a foaming one. So I go in with the e.l.f. Mint Melt, Minty Fresh Cooling Cleanser. It comes out as a foam and it smells like chocolate mint. So we're gonna do it. So we're just gonna wet our face first. Get it all nice and splishity splashed. Just like that. Take a mess, it's fun. We don't worry about it, okay? And then, because we're Neanderthals, we're gonna just do like a good four pumps because it's foam, it's fun. Why not mush it around and go to town? Like I said, it smells good. It feels nice. It's very lightweight. I don't even know if they make this one anymore. If they don't, I'm sad and I'll just have to get a new one. I personally enjoy a foaming cleanser the most. That's all over my eyes. I can't see anything. You can see, I can't. I have to find my, oh, I'm pushing things around. Oh, I'm dropping everything. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in with this. This little remover pad. Wet it and I'm just gonna brush away all my imperfections and flaws and hope I come out looking like a new person in the end. Hi. I'm dripping. I am dripping. 
called me Drapisha. All right. So now that you're clean, you're gonna pat yourself off with a nice trusty towel. Don't rub. It's not good for your skin. Pat it off. <sighs> Soak up that goodness. Now it's on to the next step. So the next step I'm going to do is some toner. On to toners. We have from e.l.f. the Super Tone with Brightening Fruit Acids. This is very high in alcohol. You smell alcohol in it. I found while removing a lot of the dirt that's on your skin, I find it does end up drying out your skin. So if you have more oily skin, I would suggest you maybe use this one. And it is kind of like that almost Lysol lemon kind of smell. There is this Holy Hydration one by e.l.f. as well. It has hyaluronic acid, witch hazel, and aloe, which are great for your skin. Only reason I'm not using this one anymore is because I believe the second or the third ingredient in this product is alcohol, which is a drying agent. So I don't, the, the ingredients kind of contradict each other, I find in this one. And I don't think that this is as hydrating as it is, which is why I'm now onto my new favorite by Laneige. This is the Cream Skin Serapeptide Toner and Moisturizer. So this is a type of milk moisturizer where you can just use this and not go in with a serum and just go in with moisturizer after if you want you can apply this once let it soak in do the rest of your routine and then before you leave the bathroom you can apply another layer of this and you're going to be moisturized even more now this is a milk toner this is by Laneige it's the cream skin serapeptide toner and moisturizer it's a mixture of both you can just use this and not go in with moisturizer I want to be extremely hydrated because my skin hates everything to do with me. So, we're just gonna put two pumps. Boop, boop. Right in our little hand. Oh, I'm dropping it! We're gonna mix it in real quick before I lose any more and just literally rub it all over your skin. You can go in twice. It literally says go in twice if you want to. So I think today I want super moisturized. So I'm gonna go in with another two pumps. It literally looks like milk in my hand. Literally. All right. Make sure you get every crevice on your face very wet from this uh, toner, because we need it. We need that moisture. Yes, we do. The winter season is harsh on our skin, and our skin hates us just in all seasons, period. So we need to correct it extra because it's winter, but then correct it because, well, we need to correct it. And while, this is soaking into the skin. I'm then going to go in with my serum. As for serums, I don't really have too many serums. These are the two that I do currently have. This is a Sulwasu, I believe is how you say it. Concentrated Ginger Renewing Serum. If you like the smell of ginger, like pure ginger, this is going to be for you. I find it's very calming, but the reason why I'm not using it, it didn't offer what I really wanted, which is way more hydration, but it is nice. It does even out skin tone I find and firms the elasticity of your face as well. The one that I am currently using is Tula Skin Care. This is the 24 hour hydration day and night serum. So you use it in the day, you use it at night, two pumps or three pumps onto your face, you mush it in. It is so nice so lightweight, very gel-like, and very you can feel the hydration as you're putting it on. It is wonderful. This is the Tula Skin Care 24-7 Ultra Hydration Triple Hydra Complex Day and Night Serum. It's probiotics and superfoods in it. This says use two to three pumps. I like to use two. Uh, we could go in three. I have done three when I had a more dry day. Today is not that super dry. And I just used double the toner. So I'm only gonna go in with two. It's very like gel-like. And we're just going to put it in our T-zone and then spread it around from there because that is the best application I found that has worked. I like to focus. So my dry areas are right here, right here, a little bit here, and really right here in like this area. And it drives me insane. Push it up into the hairline. After you kind of moisturize and massage everything in, just like literally, push up and out and that's that. You're gonna let this soak in for like three minutes and then you'll apply the moisturizer. All right, so now that everything is soaked into the skin, we're gonna go in with our moisturizer now. Onto the moisturizers. These are the current ones that I currently have, not the ones that I currently 
use. So from Saturday Skin, this is the Pretty Pop Probiotic Power Whipped Cream. This, it's very heavy. I find it's very thick. So if you like a more thick, and it, I found it had like chunkies in it, which was kind of off-putting, but it was fine. I found it just kind of sat on the top of your skin. So if you just kind of want like a, a surface moisturizer, that's essentially what this one is going to be. So probably those of you who have more oily skin, this is probably the one that you want to gravitate towards. This is from Equate. This is basically the generic brand version of the CeraVe moisturizing cream. This is for normal to dry skin. It's dermatologist approved. It has ceramides and hyaluronic acid in it. I would say this is for a normal combo skin. My skin is very dry, especially in the winter. So this is not really working for me. From Sol de Janeiro, this is the Beja Flor Elastic Cream. This, I'm not a fan of the smell personally. This was not the tea for me. It does say that it helps maintain a youthful Brazilian bounce and deeply moisturizes skin. However, I fail to see the moisturization from this cream. So that is why I am now on to Laneige Water Bank blue hyaluronic intensive moisturizer. Laneige has created three different moisturizers in the water bank line. This is the most moisturizing one out of the three because my skin is so thirsty. So this is the one that I'm going to be using today. This moisturizer I've been loving. Not only does it smell really nice, it's not that expensive and it seems to be really working. So this is the Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Intensive Moisturizer. They have three, there's like a weaker one, there's a mid-ground, and then there's this one. This is the one I chose because it says intensive. I'm gonna take my little stick here and we're just gonna scoopy scoop a good amount like that. And what I like to do, I tried it two different ways and what I find works best is you just barely push it in and then you just kind of stamp it all over and then massage it into your skin. I find that works best because then it's applying more of the product to your skin and you're pushing it more into the skin rather than pushing more of it into your hand and then applying after. So rather than your hands absorbing most of the product, your face is going to be absorbing the product as you move it around. That is that. Mm -hmm. And just kind of give your face like a little mush, mush, mush just to make sure everything is all in. And that is that. As you can see, my skin, super glowy, still red, because I, you literally just saw me apply everything, but it's glowy. She glowing, she glowing. And we love, we love the glow effect. It's very hydrating. There's zero dry patches. That's just moisturizing. Mm -hmm. I love it, I love it. Go get it, go get it. So that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed this short little quick little video. If you did, give it a like. If you found some new products that you didn't know about or that you want to try, also give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly videos and hit that notification bell so you know when I post a brand new video because if you don't, I will see you in know. You won't, so do it. I will see you all on Monday because I did another poll on X asking if people wanted my opinion on the Madam Web movie. Ooh, early reviews are not looking too good, but I never let a book, what? I never judge a book by its cover. So we're gonna sit down this weekend, we're gonna watch it, and I will be here for a full review for you on Monday. But until then, goodbye, friendships.